My name is Rebecca Hatch, and how often do you see these images on the media? The image of successful, beautiful, obese people? Not quite often. When viewing various forms of media, one often comes across negative depictions of obese people, whether it be on magazine covers, popular movies and shows, the news, and on the internet, obese people are portrayed negatively. Now, one does not realize that when obese people are portrayed negatively, it often leads to the defilement of their civil rights. Civil rights are defined are the broad privileges and rights given to each American citizen in the 13th and 14th Amendments of the U.S. Constitution. The United Nations later created the Covenant of Liberty and Political Rights, which further defines civil rights as the freedoms of liberty, life, and equality without the fear of discrimination or prejudice. Today, I will be discussing how obese people are portrayed in the media and how it often leads to the defilement of their rights. Let's discuss how obese people are portrayed in the media. An example can be seen with the movie Norbit. The character Respucia is obviously obese. In the movie, she is portrayed as ugly, rude, hateful. She wears ill-fitting clothing and is both the villain and joke of the movie. Tracy Rose, author of Norbit Offensive to Obese People, comments on this character, and she states that she has to hoist up her stomach so people can notice that she is wearing bathing suit bottoms. A joke that may have gotten a few cheap laughs in the movies, but was offensive to obese people. Another example could be seen with the TV show Friends. The character Monica portrays both a thin and an obese person. When she is thin, the media portrays her as lovable, beautiful, and, and attractive. Sorry. When she is portrayed as obese, she is less confident, she is always eating, and is pathetic. Based on these examples, you can tell that the media portrays people differently based on their weight. So now you may ask, how does the media lead to the defilement of obese people's rights? The media promotes a shameful image of obese people. This shameful image later becomes stereotypes. Because of these stereotypes, we perceive obese people as lazy, unattractive, malodorous, unkempt, and uneducated, and so forth. Mass, the mass media makes money off of promoting these images without thinking of the consequences it has on the lives of obese people. Marsha Coop is a living example of this. She, um, she tells BBC News that she was on a train when she was both verbally abused and physically abused because of her weight. This is a picture of how she was left after the attack. The Red Center for Food... Sorry. The Red Center for Food and Policy states, quote, that these media portrayals perpetrate damaging weight-based stereotypes and discrimination over weight and obese persons' experience in everyday life, end quote. Marsha Coop's story is one of many. Obese people face discriminations in their everyday life because of the media. Why? Because the media has a strong impact in our perceptions and in today's society. Body image and explicit and implicit anti-fat attitude states, quote, that physical ideals transmitted via the mass media compare oneself with those perceived as physically inferior, i.e. fat people. Um, it results in enhanced feelings or anti-fat attitudes about obese people, end quote. Obese people can't live happy lives if they have the fear of constantly being judged because of their weight or they face hate and discrimination because of it. Where do we get this from? The media. If you want to make fun of uh, if you want to make fun of a disabled person, why would you make fun of a person who has a weight problem? I'm raising awareness to the media's negative and derogatory uh, perceptions of obese people. When obese people are portrayed negatively, it often leads to stigma, hate, discrimination, and ostracization. In other words, the loss of their civil rights. Thank you.
That's what I'm talking about.